my name is Georgiana Haynes and this is the second video in my series of money management foundational tips so the tip that I'm going to share with you now is not rocket science it's not something over the top crazy but it's something that my mom shared with me in my when I did my first fundraiser in school so I must have been about five or six and this is a basic rule that she laid out for me to keep me away from getting in trouble when it came to managing finances for a business versus finances for myself video is actually made for new representatives but it can be used for anyone else and I'm making it especially with um, people who don't have credit with their Avon business in the beginning there are some people who could buy the products and um, Avon will send it to them and then you could pay for the products afterwards but there are some people where you have to pay first before you receive the products so the tips that I'm going to share today are going to especially help those people but they really are tips that can be made. none of it is going to be so you know mind-blowing it's not like I just made up a new thing but it's not gonna be easy for you either but I promise you if you can stick to it and do the things that I'm sharing with you you will be successful and it will help you with your business it will take a lot of um, willpower and determination but that's what success is so, so when I first started Avon um, like I said I was young 17 my mother sat me down and she was very serious she was like you know you can't play around with this money you're gonna start this business if you're serious about it you have to seriously run it properly and I was like okay yeah, 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 I promise but even before that in elementary school and we were doing our first um, school fundraiser one of those candy sales things I remember when the packet came home with me she sat me down and she said okay this money for the fundraiser is not gonna be your money you cannot spend this money. You're a young businesswoman now. You have to be professional and you have to track your money. You have to keep track of it and you have to know where, you know, who paid, who still owes you and things like that. So she sat down with me and she kind of showed me how to do that stuff. And the things that I do now with my Avon business, it really just breaks down to the simple stuff that she was able to show a five or six year old. I'm going to share what my mom shared with me that I've been doing for all these years with you guys so that you won't run into the pitfalls and the problems that um, come with, you know, just mismanaging your money. So here it is. This is the big tool that my mother shared with me. Amazing, right? Something so special. Wonderful. It's a manila envelope. Nothing special about it. <laughs> we took a manila envelope. We run on the front. With Avon, you can write Avon Money. Wrote on the back, on the side where you want to open to access the products that, that are so wonderfully stored inside. Do not spend. You can even put a little smiley face to discourage yourself. Because this is what happens. You go out, you deliver your orders to your customers, you collect maybe $500. Now, maybe only $200 worth of that money is yours. But in your head, you see all of this cash and you're like, oh my gosh, I have money now. You know it's the businesses, but it's in your wallet. It's just floating around. You go into the supermarket. You see your money. You see the business's money. You're just like, there's money. It's not your money. It's the business's money. It doesn't belong to you. What you need to do is, for me, what I do is I have two compartments in my wallet. The back compartment is all Avon money. Any money that's back there belongs to the Avon business. That's not for me to touch and use when I'm out. Yes, it's my business, and yes, it's my money, but I say in my head, this is the business money. I have an account for Avon, and I have an account for myself. I have an envelope with the Avon money that's separate from my personal money. I do that because I know myself. <laughs> I will go into the supermarket, and I'll say, oh, well, you know, that thing is on sale. I don't really have the cash for it. I have that extra Avon money in my wallet. I'll just use that. No big deal. I'll pay myself back later. And then I'll go somewhere else. And then I'll say, oh, shoot, I spent all my cash. I have that Avon money. I'll just use that. I'll put it back later. And before you know it, you end up spending more than you really have. And what rep messes up a lot of representatives is that they use their money from their business to pay their bills. I know some of it is legitimate bills, rent car payments, things like that, but you've got to be careful. You have to be so careful because you can mess yourself up. I say, take the envelope. Not only do you want to separate your personal funds from your business funds, but you want to build up what I call a petty cash. 
you want to have some spare emergency fund money um i have a friend who calls it mad money backup money in case something happens something crazy you just want to have something as backup keep that in your petty cash business avon envelope i recommend especially for new representatives to save at least a hundred dollars if you don't have the um the avon credit that will be a big deal to you because it'll help you to move your business along let's say your first order is a hundred dollars nothing's too huge congratulations to you for putting in a 100 dollars order that is still a big milestone now you have collected a hundred dollars let's say you owe avon sixty dollars out of that twenty dollars of it is for you take out the sixty dollars put it in the bank pay your avon bill keep the twenty dollars in the envelope i know it's a challenge i know it's hard i know you're thinking but i joined this business to make money not to keep my money sitting in the envelope but listen that first campaign you add twenty dollars maybe the next campaign you add thirty dollars maybe now you add another um twenty dollars in your fourth campaign another twenty dollars in your fifth campaign sooner or later you'll work it up to having a hundred so maybe for the first month or two depending on how your sales are if you're only selling a hundred dollars every campaign it might take you a while if your first order is five hundred dollars and you've now made two okay great wonderful put a hundred dollars in the envelope put the other hundred dollars in your personal bank account pay yourself keep in mind if you buy stuff for yourself from your business you have to put the money back into your business account if I order a $20 dress for myself from Avon I put $20 from my personal earnings back into the Avon envelope because that's what I owe the business create a tally campaign three I used to have a notebook campaign three now I do it on the computer <laughs> campaign three these are all my customers this is what they owe as they pay me I cross them out or check them off at the end of that campaign I can keep a tally of how much I put into the envelope then I write on there that I deducted I write on there that I deducted $60 to pay my bill the re remaining amount is $20 let's say the next campaign $100 order but I also bought brochures that gets deducted from the business account um, let's say I also bought some plastic bags to put my orders in that gets deducted as well now I pay my Avon bill I added those products that I bought for my business in with the customers I deduct my Avon bill and I put a tally how much I have left if you're able to see it it'll keep you from overspending when you can't see how much money you have in the account like I can look at my list and say okay well I have an extra $20 from the campaign before reinvest back into your business take that twenty dollars maybe buy a pack of brochures that's five dollars and two bags so maybe ten dollars out of the twenty dollars Re reinvest back into your business okay i understand that don't reinvest thirty dollars into your business when you only have twenty dollars in your business your business should be generating income you don't constantly want to be taking out of your personal finances to invest back into your business I know the temptation I've been there myself and I have to catch myself doing it all the time that's why I'm sharing this with you because this is a personal struggle that I found for myself and I find myself going back to my envelope going back to my checking account going back to the tenants that my mother taught me you know when I first started about keeping my money separate because it keeps me out of trouble and it'll keep you out of trouble too if you're new you do that for a few campaigns you find that you now have a hundred dollars into your account so for anyone who's saying oh well the customers want me to pay they don't want to pay up front because there's another Avon lady that they can buy from and she lets them credit the money now you have leverage just by you know using your willpower for that first month or two you now have collateral that you can use and reinvest into your business you now have a, an extra one hundred dollars that you could say okay well now I have an extra $100. Put 50% of your order down. You order $50, give me $25. When I bring you the products, you can give me the other $25. Or if they're really stubborn and you really, really have to have them as a customer, then you now have $100. You can say, okay, well, I can cover the bill for now. Out of your the money that your business has generated, not out of the money in your personal bank account that you really need to pay other bills, rent, or whatever, take it out of your envelope and then say okay well I have enough money to save up to start paying for this Avon order now so you pay for it out of your envelope the products come you deliver to your customers you put the money back into your envelope replenish that $100 
add a little extra maybe add now that you were able to do that you made twenty dollars add an extra twenty dollars in here build up your petty cash to two hundred dollars so that when you place a five hundred dollar order and you need to put a two hundred dollar deposit down you have two hundred dollars in here that you could put towards releasing your order so that you could deliver the products to your customer and then collect more money and then make more fun guys it's business when I was younger once I realized how the business worked I did this thing I'll find a picture for you I used to go to the supermarket and pick up candy bars that were back then you could get a candy bar for like two for three dollars you know, two for a dollar or three for a dollar I used to buy those I would take them to school I had a little purse that I would take all the candy to school in and I would sell them to my friends and teachers or whatever in school. I would buy it at three for a dollar, I might sell it for 50 cents. Once I sold those candies off, I didn't go on a shopping spree and spend off all the money because then I would be done and I wouldn't have any more money to reinvest in my business. I would take that money, let's say the first time I was able to buy $10 worth of candy and sell it. Maybe now I've got a turnover of $30. I invested $10, I now made 30. I would now reinvest the $30 into my business, go buy $30 worth of candy, turn it out and be able to make maybe $90 worth of candy. Maybe I didn't reinvest the full $90, maybe I paid myself $20 and then invested you know, extra money or maybe now I took, continue to take the $30. It's just how business works. You need to have some type of finances to invest in your business. Don't get caught in the system where you're just spending the money spending the money spending the money you'll end up paying more in the long run every time your avon order is late has a late payment you get charged five dollars so when you've used the money on one thing and you're late on your avon bill you end up paying extra so instead of paying sixty dollars you're now paying 65 if you let it go for more than two weeks instead of paying 65 you're now paying 70 so you've spent an extra ten dollars and it will spiral out of control because you're taking from Peter to pay Paul and you're just going back and forth. It's a bad habit. And a lot of people, not only in business, but in life, get caught in this system where you are you get a paycheck, you pay this one guy. This other guy is late. So you take the money that you should have paid that guy to pay someone else. And now another guy that you owe money doesn't get that money. You don't want to live like that. It's a bad habit and it'll just snowball and it gets bigger and bigger because you'll start paying interest. And late fees on that money it's like if you take your credit card one credit card to pay for another credit card you're paying double interest on stuff don't do it don't get in just it would all just go away <laughs> if you would just get in the habit of not spending more than you have and I know I live in New York I know the rent the cost of travel and the cost of trying to still look like you know something fancy can add up and you know you're keeping up the Joneses and things like that but it it's better in the long run to just avoid this thinking slice of cake <laughs> right now it takes a lot of willpower and a lot of self-control but you guys can do it I did it as a five-year-old I did it as a 17 year old with my Avon business you guys can do it too I believe in you and I wouldn't be wasting I wouldn't be taking the time to tell you guys if I thought it was a waste of time because I know there's someone out there who's gonna watch this video and say okay well you know what I can do this this is possible I can put aside an extra $20 a month for my Avon business yeah I, I just started my Avon business but I wasn't here last month and I was able to pay the rent then I could pay the rent now for one more month just to put aside some money if it means that in six months my entire business will be able to pay all of my rent or it can cancel out some of my credit cards guys I have been able to cancel out credit cards student loans um, travel expenses school expenses fees tuition books supplies I've been able to cancel out all of these things just by this method of saving it's not just a business method it's just it's something that you can apply to your life so challenge yourself take the challenge take the manila envelope challenge <laughs> and use it to launch a successful business use it to reinvest in your business so that you could end up making more money in the long run